Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, I'll create a page where you can create your own QR codes and you can share with your friends whenever you share that and scan that particular URL or a QR code, you'll be getting one certain URL and when you click on that URL, you can navigate to some certain XYZ pages. So before going to this video, why I thought to do this video, I'll let you know. So in general, whenever I go to the restaurant, nowadays the menu is not a physical menu. Most of the restaurants are adapting to a QR code scanning. Whenever you scan that particular QR code, you will be getting one link and clicking on that link, it will navigate to a page in your browser and you can see something like a menu and you can select your items in that menu itself or else there is one more scenario like if you want to know some websites or if you want to or see the reviews of that website nowadays most of the people not providing any link they are sharing the qr code when you scan this qr code then you will be getting a particular link and navigate to that website and you can check that website reviews and all the stuff so this is the general things which are happening in our daily life so then i got a question how these guys are doing all this then i investigated how can we do this especially in angular so that I can create my own QR code for the YouTube channel that is nothing but TechShare SKK. In this video, we'll try to create our own scanner and whenever you scan that, you will be getting a particular link. In this case, it is my link that is YouTube link which is TechShare SKK. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, after long investigation, I got one plugin to use a QR code in Angular and it supports Angular 14. So that's the great part of that particular library. Let me install that library. To install that, let me go to the readme file. I have saved all these commands in my readme file and let me hit this. So, so let me try to install this particular library copy and paste here let me hit enter but there is a problem in my local system so i'm using a force and you no need to use any force command you can just use hyphen hyphen save and this will install our angular xqr code and after installing this let me go to app.module.ts and import that particular module that is nothing but a qr code module and it is coming from your angular x qr code and i have imported that module in my application and let me go to the let me go to one of the terminal and try to hit ng serve and it takes some time to serve this and if you see there is a warning here what's the warning the node modules angular x hyphen qr code is dependent on cordobo slash QR code. So let me install this as it is a internal dependency for Angular X QR code. Let me go to the another terminal and go to the readme file. Let me copy this command and paste here with a save command and hit enter. But in my code there is a problem. So I'll use a force command and let me hit enter. Now it has been installed. Go to my terminal. It has been rerun and the compilation was successful now i am able to use my qr code module so qr code module provides you one component that is nothing but a qr code this is my component of qr code and it will accept set of properties let me give some set of properties let me give a width of let me give 400 pixels and then let me go to another property that is nothing but qr data so qr data may be any of this string so let me give a string sai kumar or anything which you want to show but in this case i just want to show this as a link so let me go to the readme file this is my text share link let me copy this and paste here so this is my data url so now if you see there is a property width which is accepting only the number so let me remove the pixels and save this if you see here width it is taking a number but we are passing a string why because it is not having any of the property binding or an interpolation whenever you don't have any property binding on this then always the value will be treated as a string so let me give a property binding and let me pass this as a number and save this now it is taking this 400 as a number and that pixel will be the qr code width and also let me go to the readme file and we'll talk about this element type qr data and error correction level so let me quickly go to the browser and you can see one qr code with this particular width let me zoom out and now you are able to see a qr code 
and this is the default QR code and whenever this QR code is scanned then that particular URL will be visible on this QR code and whenever you click on that particular link then it will navigate to a another browser or a YouTube link so I'll show you that demo in the last so let me go here and create error correction level so this error collection level is always pointing to your pixels so let me use a property binding with this error correction level it has four levels that is nothing but l m q h and whatever the qr code you are seeing here that is defaults to m why because if you see these spaces the white spaces on this qr code it is very high and whenever you pass h as the error correction level then the dots will be more and the white spaces will be very less and if you see here we got less white spaces and more black content that means a scanner content and let me go here now the error correction level I'll briefly explain you about this error correction level error correction level is the way how many black spots you are seeing on this particular QR code so if you use H it will be more and if you use L it will be less and the default points to M so here you can see the pixel levels so it will damage up to 7% with L and it will damage 15% with M and it will damage 25% with Q and it damages 30% with H that means we are targeting these pixels with 30% whatever the QR code you are having here that will be having a 30% of black color dotted structure and let me go here now let me add one more event emitter to this so the event emitter is something like QR code and URL which will be emitted whenever this QR code changes so on code change this will accept one event handler that is dollar event and let me copy this on code change and go to the app.component.ts and let me create that function here and this function will accept one event that is nothing but a url and this url type will always be pointing to safe url so there is something called a safe url which is given by angular slash platforms and this safe url will be your current url which is triggered in a block in a block type so let me create one variable so this dot URL is equal to by default it is empty and let me remove this, this this keyword and let me use a type of safe URL let me assign to this this dot URL is equal to URL the URL which is passed from your HTML and let me console this URL so that you will understand what we are getting in that URL so URL and save this and if you go here and reload the application let me inspect this if you go to the console you will be getting one safe URL implementation and that will have changing this break application security that means whatever they are providing this blob that blob will be related to this particular safe URL so what I'll try to do is I'll try to download this QR code how we can do that let me go to the HTML and create one anchor tag and inside this anchor tag I am using a href which is of type this URL let me copy this URL and pass here and we are getting it from TS so let me use a property binding and let me add one property called as download property and I am giving some name for this let me give download QR code and save this when I click this it will download a particular QR code with this particular URL so let me go back and you are able to see download QR code let me click on this download QR code you got one PNG file this is having a random name if you open this this is my QR code whenever I scan this QR code you can be getting that particular URL and also to remove this random content let me go here and give the file name let me give some file name called as TechShare SKK and save this and when you click the URL again then you will be getting TechShare SKK.png there is one more thing called as element type let me go here and add a element type element type by default it is pointing to your canvas but now I am trying to point to SVG if you give IMG 
canvas or any other URL, the downloaded file will always be in PNG. Here you can see that is in PNG. But whenever you give in SVG, that will download your file in SVG format. Let me go here and click on download QR code. It downloaded in the SVG. Let me click on this. It opened a QR code. Where it is located is TechShare.SVG. So this is how you can use your QR code in your application. I'll show you the demo from my mobile when the user scans this and clicks on the particular link it will navigate to the YouTube and that YouTube will open my TechShare SKK channel. I have recorded this in my mobile and I am showcasing that in our video with a small demo. So here I have a QR code generation which is having that QR code and I am just trying to scan by using that lens and our Google Lens has been opened and we got a URL and when I click on that URL, it is trying to navigate to our TechShare SKK channel. Go back. So now after this, let me go to the image which we have downloaded and on scanning this, we got URL and clicking on that, we got TechShare SKK. So this is how we can use our URL and try to scan that and we'll be getting that particular link when i click on that link it will navigate to a certain website or any of the respective url content so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you